Okay, so now on to question number five. Which is to draw the Lewis structure of sulfuric acid with minimized formal charges include lone pairs. Okay, so sulfuric acid is H2SO4. So now let's find the total number of valence electrons in this molecule. So for hydrogen, a hydrogen atom has one valence electron. And since we have two of them, we multiply this by two. So sulfur contains six valence electrons. And oxygen also contains six, but we have four oxygen atoms. So we multiply this by four. And now if we add this all up, we get a total of 32 valence electrons. Okay, so now let's draw our Lewis structure, starting with the sulfur in the middle as our central atom. And now I'm just going to draw single bonds to all my oxygens. And I'm going to make one of my, or two of my oxygens contain the hydrogen atoms. So now let's draw in all the lone pairs and see how many electrons I've drawn so far. Okay, so if we count this, we have two electrons in each bond. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six bonds. So we have 12. And then for all the lone pairs, we have another 12 for the two oxygens here. So we have 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So we have 32, but notice that these two oxygen atoms would have a negative charge if this were the correct Lewis structure. But we know that H2SO4 is a neutral molecule. So instead of having a lone pair of electrons for these two, I'm going to make them double bonded instead. So now we have, we still have 32 electrons in total, but everything is now neutral. Uh, so we can double check this, especially with the sulfur. So let's calculate the formal charge just to double check. So formal charge is equal to the number of valence electrons minus the number of non-bonding electrons minus the number of bonding electrons divided by two. So let's double check and calculate the formal charge on the sulfur atom. So sulfur has six valence electrons. And in this structure, there are no lone pairs on it. So the number of non-bonding electrons is zero. And for the bonding electrons, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six bonds. So that means there are 12 bonding electrons. And then we just divide it by two. So that means that sulfur is neutral. And then if we were to do the same thing for all the other oxygens and hydrogen, you'll notice that everything also has a formal charge of zero. So this is the correct Lewis structure. So now let's see what the junior tutor said. First, determine the total number of valence electrons. Hydrogen atoms have one valence electron each, and sulfur and oxygen have six. Total number is 32. Second, we write a plausible skeletal structure by joining atoms through single covalent bonds. Yep. 
Third, subtract two electrons for each bond in the skeletal structure. And the six bonds in this structure count for 12, so this leaves 20 valence electrons to be assigned. Fourth, complete the octets for the terminal oxygen atoms and assign the remaining valence electrons for the other two oxygen atoms. And now, since the sulfur atom does not have a complete octet yet, we form double bonds between the sulfur and terminal oxygen atoms to come up with the final Lewis structure. Okay, so this solution is correct.